Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make seven different bedroom items. So first item I'm going to teach you how to make is just a simple bed sheet cover. So get like a, either a bed or just a normal like single bed. And then basically what you have to do is try and place tiles along here. So I've placed a normal tile there, like at the end of it. Then I've placed a small tile there small tile there and then I've placed teeny tiles at the end of the bed here so there's like um, five teeny tiles there and at this end of the bed I've placed teeny tiles as well so one two three four five six seven eight so I've placed eight teeny tiles there at the end of the bed and I've placed five more teeny tiles along this side of the bed as well and then down here I've placed teeny tiles going down the bed to make the bed cover, so five more down here. And at this side I've placed um, five more teeny tiles going downwards. Uh, that's how you make a simple bed cover, you can do this with whatever pattern by using teeny tiles and tiles and that lot. It's kind of hard to place them because it is uh, difficult, but just try and basically place the tiles in the bed and then you should be good. I'm going to fill this all in. And and show you guys what the bed cover looks like. Okay, now the bed cover is done. It was pretty decent. Um, I recommend just filling it with like um, any colour really. I've just filled mine with red wood because that's what I think looks best. So this is what a bed cover looks like. Um, pretty easy to design, but hard to like place the tiles on the bed because you know. Uh, I guess it is tricky to just place them on the bed like so. Next thing I'm going to show you how to design is a bunk bed. Okay, to design a bunk bed, what you first need to do is place a bed on the floor. Not a double bed, but a bed. And then get a, whatever it is, a, a post. And then place it at the end of the bed, like this. Then place another one at the end of the bed like that. And do it the same side as well. Keep placing posts in each corner. And then once you've done that, place another post on top of the place another post on top of each one of these posts like so. And keep doing that. And then once you've done that, press back and then get a ladder. Then place the ladder there at the edge of that post like so. And then place another ladder on top. And then once you've done that, go and get another single bed. Rotate it and then try and place it on top of these posts. So I'm gonna, I think I'll place mine there. So try and place the bed on top of these posts and then once you've done that, Fill all of this wood in with a certain colour. I'm going to fill this in with brown wood and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. You could also add a bed cover on these if you wanted to, like over there. Okay, so when it's done I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the bunk bed looks like when it's done. You can also, like I said, try and put bed covers on the bunk bed as well if you wanted to. Very simple design and easy to, easy to build basically. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you how to make is a paint canvas. Okay, so the next object I'm going to show you how to make is a paint canvas. So what you need to do is first um, get two posts and line them up with each other and also a teeny buck at the end and then place two one slash one times one wedges at the end of it like so and then go upwards by three like that and then also do the same at the other side like so then tilt it and then rotate it 
and then go up like this. Until it's free up with like the other one like that. Rotate it again. And then do the same on the other side. Like this. And then once you've done that, um, delete this, you won't need it again. And then what you have to do for this is then um, get post, rotate it and then place it on top of them. Then, then get our teeny, teeny floor. Then place at the end there, like this. And then once you've done that, get uh, two more posts and then place them there like that. And once you've done that, rotate the post and place it on top. Then get a teeny floor, like so. And that should be the front of the canvas. So this is how it's done. Three wedges going up and also going up that way, and then three other wedges filling to fill in the gaps. And also a post in the bottom and a post going around. There are the blueprints. And then once you've done that, get uh, another one slash one times one wedge. And then rotate it. And then you've got to try and uh, get this like lined up with um, it. Kind of hard to see. And then once you've lined up that back part over there in the middle, take and then tilt and then just slot these um, one slash one wedges inside of here, like so, until you get to the bottom, I mean top. So once you've done that, fill all that with brown wood. And then I'll just show you how to do like the inside of the canvas. Okay, so once you've um, filled all of this like canvas in, get uh, I think it's gonna be a tile. I'm not sure, honestly. Might not be a tile. Yeah, that's no, definitely not a tile. Get a small tile and then place it on the canvas like that. And then place another small tile and then place it on the canvas like that. And then once you've done that, um, get another small, get a teeny tile and keep placing them uh, on this board here, like so. Keep doing that until it's uh, full. Basically, uh, I placed my wrong one. Uh, who's that? Oh, it's, uh, it's unknown. God, I can't even place this stupid. Oh, I had it. Okay, fair enough. And then once you've done that, you've got to try and uh, cover the back as well. So I'm going to delete that teeny tile. I'm going to cover the back um, as well. Uh, I don't particularly. That no, that's annoying, isn't it? Oh well. Just cover the back um, with two small tiles and also four teeny tiles. Okay, so the back will be covered with brown and the front will be covered with white wood. Okay, so once you've done that, make sure to do the front of the canvas white and also the back of the canvas brown. Uh, once I've done that, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so once you've um, filled it, all of this with white wood and also the back with brown wood, what you have to do next is get a couple of wires. And you can just like make a drawing on it, so I'm just gonna like make a simple smiley face drawing of mine. Um, so I'll just do it quickly. Make a simple smiley face drawing on my canvas and uh, should be be good enough. Obviously you can make whatever uh, drawing you want or you don't have to do any drawing. Ok, 
Okay. It's done. Yeah, so this is how you make a canvas. I think this is a pretty good design at least. Um, the thing I'll show you how to make is a vanity. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to teach you how to make is a vanity. So I've already made like a little kind of chair for it. And first what you have to do to make this chair, you need to get a small, I mean teeny tile, like so. Place it on the floor, and then place another teeny tile next to the first one. Of it. Uh, somehow I placed it halfway in the floor, I'm not sure how. Just place it on top of the floor like that. And then place another teeny tile right next to it. And then also place two more teeny tiles on top like that. And then once you've done that, come over to this side and um, do the same thing as well. Place two teeny tiles next to each other. Like so. Once you've done that, make sure to place a teeny tile there like that. And then place another teeny tile as well. So it's like that. But just delete just delete these three here like so because you won't need them. And then once you've done like a smooth wall short smooth wall and then just place that there like so, so place it on top of um, that teeny tile right there and then get a post and then do the same thing over there so place a post next to the smooth wall like so and then once you've done that um, get another teeny tile and then just place three along here like so and then try and line that up with the first one so I'm just going to try and get it to line up by doing that so line it up with that one then try and line up another one like so and that should be the first part of it done make sure to place two, one teeny tile behind that one there and also another teeny tile there and that should be the C kind of done. Once you've done that, fill that in with white wood. And now what we have to do is to get a small floor, a small tile, and then place two small tiles there like that. And then place two more small tiles on top of each other, and then get a teeny tile, and then place two of them there like so. And then place two more like that. Basically, place four teeny tiles going along here, and then four more teeny tiles on top like that. And then once you've done that, colour that in with um, red wood or something. That will be like a cushion, and the rest with um, white wood. Once you've filled that in, I'll show you how to make uh, that actual vanity table. First, what you have to do is to get two teeny floors then uh, place them there like so going upwards and then place two more teeny floors over there mm -hmm. I'll blacklist you again if you don't stop pointing away and now once you've done that place um, the cabinets um, on top of the so place the normal kitchen cabinet on top of these um posts. Oh, I can't make it even, can I? I'm just gonna move these posts overwards. Um, and now I can't exactly make it even. Oh my god! What the hell? Which is why I should go on private servers because I'm not people I have to try and answer. Um, 
Is this actually right? Oh, that was weird. Oh. That can be, that can be alright, can't it? I mean, you have seats at the side of the, the drawers. Buildings. I'm building. I'm trying to build at least, I don't know what I'm doing. This doesn't probably look like a vanity. Then place two more teeny blocks underneath there. As well as underneath um, the drawers, so two more teeny blocks underneath these like um, kitchen cabinets. And once you've done that, so once you've placed them, um, teeny blocks underneath these kitchen cabinets, um, I have so much to place the kitchen cabinets on top of the box as well as the thing cabinet. So once you've done that, uh, get a uh, tile and then place the tile on the top of the kitchen cabinet like so. Then get a small tile and then place the uh, small tile on top of the thing cabinet like this. And then once you've done that, fill all of this in with white wood and then I'll show you how to make the mirror. Okay, so once you've filled all of this in with, um, what? I was always trying to steal my blue wood again. I'm like, how, what, what do they even think we're going to do with it? Like, even if, even if they manage to get back to the base, they can't do anything with it because they're not even whitelisted. I'm uh, not get these people. No, so I'm just gonna blacklist these people. I'm fed up of these probably would get stolen, honestly. Alien, not true. Bye bye. Um, so yeah. Oh, someone trying to steal my blue wood again. Um, and then first you have to um, place a teeny uh, block, I mean, a teeny floor on there. And then place two more. And then place two going upwards like that. Then two more blocks going upwards. And then go and get post. And place like place that like that on top of the teeny box. And since the, there's four of them there, delete them teeny floors and then place a post underneath it. And uh, like so, so get a post and then just uh, shove that under. Once you've done that, go and get a small tile and then try and just uh, shove it in there. And then once you've shoved it in there, make sure to try and get it back um, like by shoving it over teeny tiles. So that it's aligned in the middle. So I'm gonna delete um, these two front ones, like so. And once you've got that position in the middle there, fill that in with blue wood, the middle part, and the rest of it with like brown wood or something. So I'm gonna fill this in quickly and then show you guys what the finished vanity looks like. Okay, so this is now done the vanity. Next thing I'm gonna make is like just a small painting that you can. Uh, used for decoration around your house and everything so this is what the vanity looks like okay so i'm just going to move on to how to make the painting next okay so next object i'm going to teach you how to make is just a simple kind of painting so go and get a teeny tile and then place them around to create like a painting shape so I'm going to make mine uh, this shape here so I'm going to make it so I can fit a small tile in the middle so I place them around in this kind of shape or something and then once you've done that you can fill this frame with whatever colour you want but I recommend using oak, brown wood or elm or something like that so I'm just going to fill this in with um, brown wood and then just show you what to do with this part of the thing. So make sure to place 14 tiles going along the top, 2 teen tiles going downwards there and also that side as well and then 14 tiles on the bottom.
Okay, so once you've um, filled in the frame, get a small tile and then just slide in there like that and then get some snow wood or pine wood chop a small piece off like this and then just cut it in and you've got like just a simple painting kind of decoration I know it's not fancy but you know it's just easy to make and yeah you can also make the frame bigger than just fill it with like some random colours to make a kind of painting deal and the last two pieces of furniture are going to be like a lot of uh, small parts and might be hard to place that's why I left them to last um, so I'm going to teach you guys how to make some trusted drawers next and like a cupboard for clothes and everything that you can use. Okay, so next thing I'm going to teach you how to build is some chest of drawers. So all you need to do is first, uh, yeah, birds in the background there. Um, is to get some kitchen drawers and um, rotate them until we get to the right um, way and then place two of them down like that and then once you've done that get, uh, get a tile and then place two tiles on top of the chest of drawers like that and then go and get the chest of drawers again or the kitchen cabinets like so and then place two more um, of them on top like that and then once you've done that get tiles again and then place two tiles on top of each other like that I'm gonna fill all of this in first and show you guys what to do next. So I recommend um, filling the trusted drawers in with a different colour from what you fill the tiles as. I'm gonna fill my kitchen cabinets with um, white wood and the top part of this with like elm wood. So here and here. So do the tiles and the kitchen cabinets different colours and once you've filled that in I'll show you guys what to do next. And then once you've filled that in with whatever colour wood you want, to make sure to fill the like um, tiles with a different colour to what then the kitchen cabinets. So I'll fill the kitchen cabinets with like um, different colour from the tiles and everything. And then once you've done that, what you have to do is then place a tile coming down like this, and then place four teeny tiles at the bottom like that. So I'll just demonstrate on this side what I mean. Um, so place this tile um, like that. Make sure it's that. Like make sure it's downwards from the actual thing there. So there's one gap there, and then get teeny tiles, and then just try and shove them in there so it reaches the bottom like this. And keep doing that. And then once you've done that, fill this in with like whatever colour you've done the previous tiles. And then once I've filled it in, I'll show you guys what the chest of drawers looks like. And the final object I'll show you how to make is like a wardrobe. Okay, so this is what the chest of drawers look like when they've done. Pretty easy to design, honestly. Um, so you can open them like... I don't need to do that. You can open them like this and so on. So this is what they look like when they've done and everything. And the final object I'll show you guys how to make is a simple wardrobe. This is probably going to be like the most um, most blueprints out of them all so be prepared. Anyway I'll get on to making the wardrobe now. Okay, for the wardrobe, first measure out two posts going along there, one post going upwards, another post going upwards, and then two posts going along like that. And then go and get a teeny floor, and then place teeny floors in each one of these um, gaps, like this. 
Once you've placed teeny flies in each one of these gaps, go and get uh, the door blueprint. So go and get a basic door and then rotate it and then place it on top of the front post like that. And then rotate this one here and then place that there. And then once you've done that, go and get a smooth wall like so. And then just place a smooth wall around the doors um, like this. And then place a smooth wall around the doors as well and to the back of the post um, like so. And then go and get a short smooth wall stub and then place uh, place that there like that and then rotate it and then do oh I can actually do that then go and get a post and then cover up these um, gaps here like so and then once you've done that once you've covered up all these gaps around the post and um, I'm going to try and place mine because you know he's being awkward as hell. Okay so once you've filled out all of this kind of thing I delete the bottom posts like this and delete these two front ones as well and then delete these ones and delete these ones as well. Okay, what well, now what you have to do is then just to fill the top part in of the wardrobe, so go and get a uh, tile and then place tiles on top of it like this. Um, I don't know why it goes downwards. Ah, so annoying. I'm going to place two tiles going along there and then for the rest of the wardrobe, um, place small tiles like so so place like tiles on top of the wardrobe to cover up the top part like this and then also try and fill this middle gap in so I'm gonna place one downwards and then delete that one I've just done there so Once you've done all that, then place teeny floors down and doors next to them and fill the back with like walls and everything. What you have to do then is fill all of this in with like a colour. So I'm going to do mine with elm wood, all of that with elm. And then I'm going to fill the doors with white. So make sure to fill these with a different colour from the doors. And then once you've done that, I'll show you how to do the last part, which is a floor and also the place where you hang all the clothes and everything. Okay, so once you've done that, what you have to try and do is to try and then balance uh, teeny tiles until it gets to, uh, I don't mean that, I mean balance tiles until it gets to the actual door. So I'm going to lay my tile there, like so, and then keep placing it upwards until it gets to the bottom of the door, so one place it like that and that should be the bottom of the door so place four like tiles going upwards and then the fifth tile should be the actual floor of the wardrobe so once you've placed these four tiles delete the other ones and then keep the fifth tile and then that should be like the floor of the wardrobe and then do the same thing um, over here so place four tiles going upwards like this and then on the fifth one place it and then delete the other four tiles um, and that should act as a wardrobe floor and then once you've done that go and get a teeny towel and then try and place them uh, you know downwards like this connected to the tiles this will act as a floor of the wardrobe as well keep doing
doing that. It's a like as well. And then once you've um, placed um, these um, teeny tiles at the end of this, obviously make sure to fill this in with whatever colour you've done the actual wardrobe as well. Um, obviously mine, I'm going to have to do the full tile thing on here as well, which is great. Okay, I'm just going to delete these um, four tiles here, I mean teeny tiles. Okay, so once you've like filled in this part of the floor, go and get a post and then just place it at the top, um, I say somewhere in the middle, like make sure it's one kind of floor downwards, so I'm gonna place mine there. Like so. So I'm gonna place mine one block down from the actual wardrobe roof. And then um, two and one basically one block inwards. And then I'm also going to place uh, another one there. Once you've done that, fill that in with uh, grey wood or whatever wood you've cut this, and then fill that with white wood. These will be like the where you hang the clothes and everything. And then once you've done that, I'll show you what all the furniture looks like and everything. Okay, so now all the furniture's done. I've got this random dude here begging for robots, and he keeps running into me because, yeah, whatever. Okay, so the first thing is bed covers. So you've got nice, um, easy to make kind of bed covers that you can buy your bed in any kind of pattern here. And then you've got a bunk bed over here as well. Over here you've got canvas sort of deal, and over here you've got a vanity with like a, with a mirror on it. Kind of a nice idea. Over here I've got some like Chester drawers as well, simple and easy to design. Over here we've got like, I don't mind that's the wrong way. Over here I've got like a cupboard, a wardrobe, with like a, uh, I don't know what they're called, but a hanger. You can also make some like cut hangers like from pies and something. Yeah but this is a custom wardrobe that you can build. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And over here we've got a simple kind of painting design as well, which is kind of easy to make. I was gonna make a piano, but Bunny Films have already done a tutorial on that. I'll probably make like a different video with like musical instruments or something. But I will make my piano different and everything because I'm not going to do it the same. Alright, uh, that's all the furniture. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching and bye.